there's an interview. I think we're going to talk about that. Psyche talks right about that Let's song and it. the process of writing it. And I'd open it up here, but I, I think my computer would fucking you. freak out again. Uh, I'm not yeah, sure I'll what page in, it's on there. I'll zoom in close. Just tell me where to. <laughs> I, I kind of has a banana and jokes. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> this, this interview from Barks is fucking great, man. If you guys haven't read it, check it out. I haven't read it yet. Yeah, barks.jp. It we'll, we'll drop the link in the Discord, uh, the guys and guys Discord for you guys. Yeah, I'm not sure where it is, Alan. It's just. Okay. But hey, I'll scroll while you're talking about it. Go ahead. Okay. Well, oh, man. There's a couple of things I wanted to Mikoto pointed out. He put in the, in our or in the chat. I think I put the links he gave me in the chat for Discord. If you guys want to bring it up, because if I touch Discord, I think my computer is going to explode. Okay, I'm gonna I'll, I'll put in Discord for everybody right now. <clears throat> so if you guys are in there underneath the bandmate tab, I'm putting the link to the article. Uh, somebody probably already. Yep, there you go, guys. If you guys want to check it out. But there is some talk, like Akane is talking about starting off with the instrumental and and just. It's just interesting to get, you know, the th the things we speculate about how they just love to explain what was going on. Yeah. When they were writing stuff and it's so and sometimes it's like, we're really? <laughs> yeah. Cuz I think what uh they wondered if Konami was like mad about something when they when she gave them the music for hate. Oh, was she mad about something? And then Psyche's like, "Well, I was mad about some stuff in my life too, so it just freaking <laughs> snowballed it. it wasn't it didn't seem like you know I, well they're, they're also still private about their their private lives but it, she wasn't like this guy made me mad it's just they're vague enough making me mad yeah so it's like oh shit that, yeah, like, they wonder if konami is upset about something <laughs> oh i think it was you ryan that mentioned last one it's like it's it's uh that's the cool thing about music like they cope it helps copes with that whatever they're frustrated about right and yeah looking back at it you can be like damn i was pissed you know <laughs> damn i was angry yeah. that <laughs> um do they talk at all about the actual writing process of the instrumentals um in a, like a non-emotional state like in a more technical way like how they put the songs together at all or is it mostly about them talking about like their emotional uh well i the mean right, the, the clip way. you got up right now alan is kind of yeah explains pretty well you know what's kind of saying uh this time i think there are a lot of songs that make me feel new i may be saying the same thing every time something comes out but i wonder if it's an ep where you can see a new side of yourself while while having band made so you know how relatable that line is like i said just going back to influencer like you're like wow it really resonated with this this way <laughs> right like see yourself different you're like see yourself in the lyrics maybe yeah. taking mm, it like mm. that i think i feel like you could like with a lot of music you can get a different thing out of it depending on that like era of your life that you're in also like you could hear a song that you heard 10 years ago and uh you hear it 10 years later and it might be like a totally different meaning to you at that point in your life even though the lyrics haven't changed at all yeah the same oh, song true. with a different perspective can make you happy and can it make you incredibly sad yeah but it can um, be the same song you know it, are there multiple interviews from barks because there was one line that uh was in the screenshots you sent me ryan yeah. Where Konami was talking about the actual composition of the song to go back to what Champ asked about. Okay. And where uh Konami Miku to wanted it. to change the melody of oh, yeah, one yeah. of the choruses. And so, you know, Konami had everything composed, but when Miku wanted to change it, she was just like, Yeah, do as you please, make any changes you want. So it just showed how how collaborative they are. Yeah. And, like we always say, they don't have that ego that gets in the way of good writing. They just do what's best for the song. You know? Sometimes when you collaborate like that, it comes out even better. You know, like like we were just talking about, like if I like that song I sent you guys, right? If you guys change it, you might enhance the initial emotions that I originally have because that's happened to me before, where you write a song that's about a specific thing, but they're like, "Oh, dude, I got these lyrics ideas. Let's change this melody here." I'm like, "Wow, this is like, pff, this hits even harder." <laughs> you know nice. so right right yeah i think um, the, the, that link wasn't working in the discord by the way guys no no it didn't uh konami is talking about like like what you said um they asked her is it okay if we change this and Konami's like of course i want you to do whatever you think you need to do but she says but since i write the music they feel they need to come like ask me about it and it's natural i mean that there is as talented as you know that is awesome that and and konami's like 
don't you don't have to ask me about it just do it and they're like no the <laughs> they want to make sure it's cool ways. because because they, like you were just saying all of you were like there's they didn't want to change it because there might be an underlying reason why something's there and they found out sometimes there was and she didn't want to change it hmm. that's exactly what you guys are saying is what she mentioned in the interview it's pretty awesome hmm. Mutual like, oh okay that's everyone. why that's why it's that way you know yeah i put the right link in the discord guys i just changed it right now thank you that's the right one um it is interesting though to me that like so so if, if konami writes something like right like let's say like a chorus or something like that and miku says that she wants to change it like change the vocal melody i guess mm -hmm. you know um does konami then go back and change her guitar to match around that or i'm, I'm do sure. they just fit that new vocal melody into what's already written instrumentally i'm sure they question. they probably adjust everything i mean if it's all written together and you change a melody over yeah they or probably got a tweak you thought of a melody that worked over the chord that was already there yeah or whatever mm -hmm. i would i would love to have Either just way. let's just talk about writing one song you know yeah the you whole know process I, I i do feel like because I, i've just noticed like sometimes in the band made songs especially you get that second set of vocals right that is not uh miku uh, just like doing her harmonies with Psyche, you'll get like a Miku line underneath whatever Psyche's doing. Yeah, and I've always wondered how that is established, right? Like, <clears throat> it'll be completely different, you know. Even just something simple, like where it's not even words; it's just a vocal melody, and you know the whoa ah, ah the, or the whatever the disturbed thing, you know. Yeah, and I wonder if like that's an idea for a melody that she had, and they were like maybe going back and forth. Which melody do we want to use, you know, in this part of the song? And they just go, you know what? I think we could put both of them in here at the same time. Right. I, <laughs> this from I've read where that's they they talk about that and her uh, and her what are, I forget what they call them specifically, but they always are like done last. Like her her shouts and stuff and everything, they mm -hmm. kind of do them after everything's done. It makes the most sense that way for sure yeah so you it's can be sure it's not going to interrupt things so psyche says right here uh moreover it's uh, she's talking about the video uh unleash uh includes the meaning of self-introduction the characters in the anime are real and we are going to attack from now on i think it has been transmitted to people who don't know band made well mm. so it's like a it's a reintroduction to the world yeah. almost listen up. like listen yeah. up people Yep. they're re they're kicking open that that new door you know like they've they've already been here but you know maybe they're they're thinking like we walked through this first door and we've been existing on this patio you know but now we're gonna kick down the next door and now we're going out into the whole yeah. world right? that's probably what they feel like with you know getting stopped yeah. in their tracks with the pandemic and they're like well, all right let's do this again let's make they sure keep... people know who the fuck we are yeah mm -hmm. they kept referring to it as the second stage of world domination or whatever ah that's mm. cool. This so, is uh, I'm, I'm gonna kind of read this just for the people that are listening on podcast. Did you guys have any else? Anything else about the interview? Yeah, Tua Bug just mentioned something that was part of the Konami statement about people asking her. She <laughs> she said they asked politely if they can change things, and then in the interview she added, "They're just they're being nice, I guess." Oh yeah. <laughs> like, <you're> like, <laughs> I have that. Uh, that I, I can't remember it exactly, but it's just so cute. She like, said, I, "The members are really kind." <laughs> I think <laughs> was what she followed it up with. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. they so, ask her about it. Is there a question mark on that or something? Cause something made it seem like it was. I don't know. I, if she, she says, says, "I," she says, "I think" or something. <laughs> I have the direct quote here. If you want me to read it, yeah, yeah, please. yeah of she course. Said, when I was asked, "Can I change it?" I was like, "Please do as you please." Laughs. It was like. It was like that. All the songs are like that, but I'm the one who makes the original songs first, so everyone is concerned about me and asks, can I change it? The members are really kind, I think. I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of think. Yeah, it's just, that's a, that's a, a great little window into the to how they work together. If you are enjoying these clips from our full podcast, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on all those notifications so you don't miss out when we go live on Sunday, which is always the same time at 9 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. And if you can't catch it there, we're also on Spotify and future streaming platforms in the future because that's where the future takes place. I don't know. Just hit subscribe, guys. Just It's right there. The video is right there. The video somewhere in here. I, I don't know. I, I'm tired. Potter made me do this. Click that. Click that video. Just do it. Do it.